Hey guys, welcome back to Jen in 10 or Less. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the two ways that I do my brows. Now, I don't do anything too fancy with my brows. Um, it's, this is kind of like my daily routine, but as you'll see, uh, it does make a huge difference in the overall appearance of my face. I never leave the house without my brows done. I am pretty much addicted to it. The first way I'm going to show you is using a powder um, and also a little bit of this Anastasia pencil and spoolie. And these two together are super easy, quick. Um, and if you have the same kind of brow problems I have, then you might want to pick this up. Then the second way um, is using this dip pomade from Anastasia in soft brown. This will stay on all day. And once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to use. So I hope you guys enjoy. First thing I'm going to do is start off with my Milani Brow Kit and use the bottom shade. Even though my eyebrows are black, this bottom shade really goes nicely. It's not too warm or too cool. And I'm just kind of brushing through my eyebrows. You can see what a difference that powder alone makes, just filling in the gaps. And I'm using a Real Techniques brow brush. It came with an eye kit of five different brushes. Then I'm going to comb through the powder to make it look more natural. Then I'm going to take this Anastasia pencil and trace the bottom and then along the top edge of my brows. And that just kind of gives my brows some support, some definition. It does make a huge difference. It's kind of like wearing a bra. I don't pay too much attention to the the fronts or the the tails of my brows. Make sure to come through. And then I'm going to get my dip pomade. It can't, comes with a brush, double sided brush. I'm going to take the spoolie and groom my brows to make sure they're in the right place so that when I lay down product I put it in the right place. Then I'm going to clean my brush on both sides so that the product's only on the tip and do the same thing I do with the pencil. Trace the bottom and then trace along the top edge as well. And it gives some structure to my brows without making them look too overdone. I work with one brow at a time because this product dries very quickly and it sets all day. So you have to be very precise. Then I comb through to make it look more natural and hair-like. I'm going to do the same thing on the other brow. And a lot of people have fun with this product, but this is the way I like to wear it, which is more natural. Going along with my actual brow shape, I find is best instead of trying to create an arch. The spoolie is key just to creating that natural look and that's what it looks like finished. Well, that was it. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.